All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Bushnell cameras. So for the Bushnell cameras, there's the aggressor and the core models. The aggressor model looks like this. That's what I'm gonna show you guys. Um, and then the core model is very similar. The latch is right here on the bottom of the core model. The latch is right here on the aggressor. You pull that to open both cameras. With the core model, only the front part is going to open. With the aggressor model, the entire camera opens up like that. So with the aggressor model in particular, the one I'm working with, these batteries like to become a little loose. The first thing you want to do is make sure they're nice and snug in there by just kind of pressing them down into place. With the core model, the batteries are going to be actually at the bottom of the camera. You're going to click the eject button. You're going to pull out the batteries, make sure they're nice and snug, push them back in there until you hear another click. And if you don't hear that click, keep pushing. So with the aggressor models, you're going to see, and with the core models, that the settings right here are on, setup, and off. You're going to want to, when you're going through the settings, go to the setup menu. That also puts both the core and the aggressor models into the walk test mode. The, the walk test mode is basically showing you this little red light. That would bl uh, blinks whenever the camera would be taking a photo if it were out in the open. And so I'm setting it off right now. And so you can see that red light is blinking. That means that the camera would be taking photos right now if it were on. This is a great way to tell if your camera's focused on the spot of interest that you're trying to go out and focus on. If you turn this on to setup mode, hold it where you want it to be, and then walk out to your target area and that light is blinking red, that means you're in a pretty good spot and that camera will take photos when any time something walks through in that area. So then you'll also um, be able to access the settings once it's in setup mode. So here are the settings right here. Here's just a quick breakthrough. This is the main menu. First thing you'll notice is the battery level. Anything above or greater or equal to one bar is good battery. So even if your camera has one bar, it's still going to last for quite a while. You don't really want to change the batteries until you see zero bars there. The next thing you're going to see, which we actually don't have with this particular camera because I don't have an SD card, um, but you're going to see a little SD card marker right there. That means that it's reading an SD, uh, SD card and we're good to go. If that is in there, you should also then see numbers right here on the bottom. The first number is going to tell you how many photos are actually on that SD card. The second number is going to tell you, theoretically, how many photos that SD card can hold. So in this case, it's zero out of zero because there's no SD card loaded. And then right up here is going to tell you the photo quality. This is going to tell you if you're in photo or video. If you're in video, you'll see a microphone and a video camera. You're going to want to change that back to photo if that's the case. And then this little T with the circle around it is the timestamp. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is on there as well. That means that it's gonna take a timestamp with every photo that it takes, and that's really important data for us. And then finally in the middle, you're gonna actually see the date and time right there. And you wanna make sure, double check, double check, double check, that that is correct before you deploy your camera. Um, so to actually go in and change the settings, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually delete the photos from the previous years uh, work and so a lot of your SD cards are not new they've been used before however the data that was on them has already been sorted through and uploaded so if you insert an SD card and there's a number right here at the left before you've actually set up any camera you're gonna want to delete those photos so to do that you're gonna access the menu button which is right here and a lot of other other models it might be right up here at the top just access that menu scroll through the settings until you get to the format setting right there and then you're gonna see it says format execute you're going to want to do that. That's just basically gonna clear the SD card. So you're gonna go ahead and say yes. It's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna do that? You're gonna navigate over to yes, which actually is up or down arrows. You're gonna click that, and it's gonna then go back to the format execute button, and that means that it's cleared the SD card. Obviously, there's no SD card here, so we don't have to worry about that, but it would actually go through and clear it, and then you'd go back to the menu, and there should be a zero here on the left side, and then how many photos the SD card can hold on the right. All right, so to actually change settings, you're going to follow the settings that are in the Camera Trap Installations Instruction Manual. Some of them are a little bit different between cameras, and so I'll walk you through them. So the first thing is timestamp. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's on. Without timestamp for each photo, we can't use your data. Field scan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's off. Coordinate input, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's off. Video sound doesn't really matter because we're not taking videos. Default set, that just sets everything back to its default, so let's just avoid that. Version, that's just the ID number, no need to worry. Set clock, this is where you actually change the date and time. So we're, to do that, we're gonna go in there. And I have that it's 10.03, 2021, April 6th. And so some of them are going to be day, or year, month, date. Some of them are gonna be year, month, uh, month, day, year. 
you just need to make sure that you're entering the correct date. And so to do that, if you're unsure if this is actually day or month that it's doing, go to the very bottom and see what the last number is. So in this case, it's 12, so that's our month category. We'll go ahead and set that correctly. And this is obviously our day category. So let's say we make a change. Let's say it's actually 1001. If you don't click the set button, that will not actually go through and it will not make that change. So when you change the date and time, remember to click OK to set that date and time. So then if we go here, we'll now see that it says 1001 instead of 1003. All right, the rest of the settings, presets, advanced. If you have that option, just keep it at advanced. If you don't, don't worry about it. Mode is camera. Obviously, you don't want to change that to video. Eight, uh, image size, so this is gonna be a little bit different. If you have an eight megapixel option, go ahead and use that. Unless you're using a core camera, then select the five megapixel option. If you don't have an option like that, click the HD. So there we go. Image format, we want full screen. Capture number, we want three photos. That means each time the camera is triggered, we're gonna take three photos. LED control, we keep that at high. We don't have to worry about the name. Video size, we don't have to worry about. Video length, we don't have to worry about. Interval, this is important. This is how long the camera will turn off between triggers. And we do want it to actually turn off between triggers to save some battery life. And so we want that interval set to 15 seconds. Sensor level high. NV shutter, that's auto or medium, whatever it's already set at. Camera mode, we definitely want it to go for 24 hours. And then we're back to the final settings. So once we're happy with that, we're good to go. We can check it out. Just so that I cover all the bases, to actually navigate between settings, it's the left and right arrows here. To change a setting, it's the up and down arrows. But remember, to actually set a change, you have to click that OK button. If we just went through like that and then went back, you went, it went back to what it was before. All right, the next thing you're going to do is check out that menu one more time. Make sure that everything's reading correctly. Check that date and time. Make sure it's good. If you're happy with it, then go ahead and set this to on. Turn it over. Make sure that you see this blank blinking light for 10 seconds. If you don't, that means that something's going wrong with the camera. Turn it off, turn it back on, see if it works. Once it's done blinking, now the camera's armed. And notice we can't see anything. It's not gonna tell us if it's taking a photo or not. But it is actively taking photos right now, and that's on purpose. We want it to be as stealthy as possible. We don't wanna be able to hear it or see it because we don't want animals to hear it or see it either. And so if you're worried that your camera's not working, whatever, that's okay. It's supposed to be stealthy. If you saw that blinking light for 10 seconds when you turned it on, you can rest easy. The camera's working, the camera's uh, ready to go. So that's how to use these cameras. Um, thanks for tuning into the video.